Hey everyone, Shelly here from Slime Craft Baking. Welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be making some chocolate chip cookies. Alright, just gonna set my camera down here. Okay, first thing we need to start out with is I have to get the mixing attachment for my mixer. So let's grab that. step is to combine the sugar into here and the butter. It needs to be softened butter. Okay. Then you'll just mix the butter and the sugar together on a low speed. And then you just gotta wait till they are all mixed Together. Then I'll have to scrape the bowl. I'm gonna see if I can get the camera to go up a little bit without it falling off. Let's turn that off and then we can scrape all of this down and when you're making this recipe make sure you use unsalted butter otherwise it will mess with it the amount of salt that you use and everything and it won't make the cookie turn out right it will still be a good cookie but it will be a lot more salty if you use salted butter Okay, and we just gotta scrape down the sides of the bowl. here. All right, then we are going to mix that a little more until it's all nicely mixed together. I'm going to try to adjust the camera again. Next, you're going to want to add in your dry ingredients. So your baking soda, your salt, and your flour. this again and we're going to scrape everything off. You don't want anything to be unmixed otherwise you might have some leftover flour at the bowl that could get in the cookies and everything will not be properly mixed. So just try 
try to scrape off all of that off the paddle. And then you can just scrape the sides. Because I do not want any extra flour to be on top of the cookies or anything or at the bottom of the bowl. Okay, try to get the batter cookie dough stuff on top of there again. And we're going to mix this a little more. Then we're going to add in our chocolate chips. I, I didn't have just plain regular chocolate chips. I had some white chocolate chips, some um, semi-sweet chocolate chips, and some butterscotch ones. So I'm going to be using all of those because it takes two cups of the chocolate chips and I don't have that. So let's mix that together. have a lot of other baking supplies out at the moment, but that's because I'm planning on doing more baking today. And then we're going to need a cookie sheet. Also while you're making this, you may want to Preheat the oven to 350. So bake 350. Okay. Just going to adjust the tripod again. I'm using my phone to record this, so video quality should be better, but I have to keep adjusting it. So then we're going to use some pan cooking spray. And you don't need like a lot of it, just a little bit. And I know with parchment paper you don't necessarily need cooking spray, but I like to keep it there so it doesn't, so the paper doesn't come off. big thing of cookie dough there. I'm just going to wash my hands because I will be dealing with this cookie dough by hand. Make sure to wash your hands for 20 seconds, that way they are all clean. Alright. And we're going to get all this cookie dough into the bowl because it's all stuck to the paddle. Then we will detach the paddle from the mixer and put that in the sink. Now we detach the mixing bowl from there and just take a little bit of cookie dough and roll it into a ball or as best as you can get one. Then you just flatten it, place it on your cookie sheet and try to get an even amount again, same amount, flatten the cookie. These aren't going to be perfect, these are just homemade cookies, but it's a nice thing to make while you're 
home and everything and if you need something sweet to eat And these should be really soft and chewy cookies. So I'm just gonna put like four in that row. Another thing you can do if you want more even ones is you can get a cookie sheet and it, you can just roll all of the dough out to it into like a roll and then you can stick that in the freezer and that should make it so these are better cookies but i'm not going to do that because i'm doing a video for this And also I am planning on making a bunch of other cookies today. I'm going to make some pecan um, cinnamon ones that my mom asked me to make before. They didn't really turn out because they were in the oven a little too long. The heat was too high. So this time when I make them, I'm going to have to have a timer that works better and make sure that the heat is not too high. As you can tell, these are not even cookies. If I was doing this for an order to give to someone for like a party or something, I would have them a lot more evened out. But since I'm just making these for at home, that's how I'm going to have them. I still have a bunch of cookie dough left in the bowl. But I'm just going to, to finish rolling that off camera. With how our oven works, you can only put one pan of cookies in at a time. Otherwise, it will burn the cookies. But yeah, this is the chocolate chip cookies that I made. It has white chocolates, butterscotch chocolates, and semi-sweet chocolate chips. All right, I will bring the video back as soon as they're done and be right back. Hey everyone, and I am back. Okay, just got the cookies out of the oven. I personally think they look really good and I can't wait to eat some of these. So if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. And until next time.